If a silicon diffusion is doped with boron at a concentration of this value, what is the concentration of electrons in the piece of silicon per cubic meters? And then we have an assumption where Ni is this. So if we look at the notes linked below the like button, we have the following formula and we can just do a control F and find concentration. So concentration of electrons. Electrons is N. So we're gonna use this equation that we have right here. Pn is equal to our N uh, subscript I squared. And so our N is equal to our Ni squared over P because that's what we want to find, right? Our electrons. Well, our Ni is going to be this value right here. It, it even tells us Ni is this. And we're going to write this in here. And then our P, the P is, is the doped boron at concentration, right? P is gonna be this value that we're given right here. And then we're going to plug this into here. And so if we plug this into a calculator for these values, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna get a value of approximately 395. You don't have to mess with the units because it's all in cubic meters, or yeah, in cubic meters. And so that is gonna be the answer for this problem, about 395 and for cubic meters. An important part, uh, an important part to this is the units. So we want this per centimeters cubed, right? Well, up top here, we have our centimeters cubed squared. So it's gonna look like this squared and then we're also going to have our p which is the centimeters cubed on the bottom that's going to be this value and so this would make a one up top and this would be down here so really we're left with a centimeters cube and our value is the 395 centimeters cube and it's always important to pay attention to units also make sure that you know when we read this if a silicon diffusion is doped with boron at a concentration of this value this is our p value the p is the number of free holes that our boron has that's what it's going to give us